Hey everyone, Ooh, it's bright, it's Reagan, and welcome to the start of a work week reading vlog. I haven't done one of these in a few weeks, I've obviously been doing weekend reading vlogs, but I felt like this might be a good week to film another one of these. It's currently Monday afternoon, I just had some soup. Here is my empty bowl as proof, carrot ginger was delicious um so i had a five minute interval between my next meeting and that so i figured i'd start this vlog i will chat through my reading plans a little later in the day but i just want to say hey hi it's monday afternoon and i figured let's start a reading vlog quickly show you my ootd and then i gotta get back to work this is what i'm wearing on monday this shirt is from thread up but it's in other stories these pants are anthropology a couple years ago they're the comfiest and then slippers <laughs> wrapping up my work day matilda isn't that right and we have some exciting new additions to the apartment first and foremost we got a new trash can which doesn't seem like an exciting purchase but given how terrible our last tra trash can was and how broken it was this is Top of the line, look at that soft clothes. Wow, just wow. And then really also exciting is all of the rainbow nail polish I bought last week arrived. So I'm gonna give myself a rainbow manicure. All of these are from a local Brooklyn nail polish maker and I just loved their colors so much. This green has like speckles in it, like a, and so does this blue, like a robin's egg blue. So I'm really excited. It should be a fun little activity for today. Other than that, I have very limited plans for Monday night. I want to finish the Dresden Files Stormfront, which this is being filmed directly after my readathon vlog. So I have only 100 uh, ebook pages of that left, so I might try to finish that tonight. I hope Clay's not super busy so we can watch more Naruto, maybe watch some Shit's Creek or something, and then make some dinner, just kind of hang out and chill. Chillax. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, work is over. I'm thrilled. I'm gonna give myself a manicure right now. I'm pumped about it. Soon you shall see me with the rainbow nails that Instagram has you know, influenced me to do, so thrilled. I painted my nails and I'm very pleased. And now I'm going to play some Animal Crossing and do my daily activities, it's me. And then I'm going to read and cook dinner. But first, priority things. Starting dinner, I'm just making a quick pasta with jalapeno sausage. I also started this show one, um, oh gosh, what's it called? It's not 100% hotter, it's like, Oh, it's like the Netflix Love Island ripoff, but I'm so entertained by it already. Um, like hot, like so hot to touch or something like that. It's great. And I'm also stressing about where I place my Animal Crossing orchard and I think I'm gonna move it. <laughs> Get everything nice and brown. I didn't have any zucchini that was good, unfortunately. But I did have some mushrooms which I've snuck in here, which I'm sure Clay will complain about. And I think while cooking this, I've decided how to re-redo the orchard I built. But it's gonna take some time, but it's gonna be worth it. And then I just have to move all the houses. Which will also be worth it. And the pasta is made. Can we watch Naruto while we I'm eat? I'm Sasuke. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, Matilda and I have retreated into the bedroom. I'm gonna watch more is, uh, more of that show. It's like, oh, I just remembered it and I forgot. It's like, love is hot, something like that. I have my Nook because I do plan on reading tonight. It's only 8.30, um, but I have my, my Switch because I'm going to put a good chunk of time into this. I haven't been playing as much Animal Crossing as I want and I think it's because I felt in a rut with what I wanted to do with my island. And the thing is, so many people have asked me for like an island tour and the thing is, my island is not far along at all. <laughs> like I only have four villagers, all sorts of things. But I finally have like, I've been struck with some inspiration on kind of where I want to prelim house a lot of things. So I need to move my museum. I know now I want to put my orchard, even though I just made an orchard. I didn't fence it yet, which was good. But I know where I'm going to put that now. I need to move some houses. It's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to take a lot of time but I'm ready for the long haul. So I'm gonna get started at least on the very first part, the orchard. I'm gonna use my museum. There's lots of things I gotta do. The show is called Too Hot to Handle and I love. It's like good old fashioned Love Island before Love Island got bad. 
well, Love Island's not bad, but like early season Love Island better kind of thing. Anyway, I've also been playing like over three hours of Animal Crossing. I wish I could say, let me show you my progress, but it was the kind of Animal Crossing work that was all urban planning and digging a crap ton of holes and like figuring out where to put things and making decisions. And then a lot of the stuff, like I won't see the changes until tomorrow and I still need to move more buildings, but it can only move one building in a, tw like a, in a day. So tomorrow I'll move my second building and then the next day I will move my next building. And then, yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit because I have four buildings to move, clearly, Think about where you're gonna put things because I didn't and now I'm paying the many bell price. It's less about the money and more about the time. The fact that I can only move one building a day, it kind of breaks my heart. But now I kind of visually know where I want things in my island to go. I've started building a flower and tree path in lieu of not having paths yet. And so that will look nice and kind of like have and then I can kind of build fake areas around. So I'm gonna have like a shop area, an orchard area, I'm building like a neighborhood area, which it's the whole thing is gonna take like a week to get structurally where I want, but I made good progress and I made a lot of decisions tonight. And now tomorrow and the next day and stuff, I can focus more on the fun stuff and get caught back up in fishing and things. I'm really rambling on about Animal Crossing. I don't wanna show you anything because it's not good, but it hopefully will be. <laughs> and hey, the worst of it is I'll just have to move things again, which I'm hoping I don't have to. All right, not that I can stop thinking about all of my constructed paths at Animal Crossing. Also, like, when do the rest of the villagers come? Anyway, I've spent so much time tonight prepping and organizing things. Note, it's, I'm not trying to add stress to Animal Crossing, but I didn't really think about where I was placing things and now I'm paying the price. So just think about where you're placing things. Anyway, I'm going to sit down and do some reading now. Um, yesterday, I basically read 150 pages of Stormfront, um, book one to the Dresden file. So I'm going to try to read a chunk of it now. I have 100 pages left of my ebook exactly. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish it tonight, but I do feel like I can get a good chunk read and then finish it tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up next maybe a regency romance novel maybe more fantasy i need to finish kingdom of gods which is over there i'm unsure so i'll cross that bridge later but right now i'm going to read all right it's about that time of night but i read 50 ebook pages of this book so making excellent progress i'm gonna definitely be able to finish this tomorrow i'm at the tail end of it and i'm really liking it um, it's definitely not, I wouldn't say I was super surprised, oh, I wouldn't say I was super surprised by anything, but I'm enjoying the narrative, and I think most importantly I really like Harry Dresden, it's a really classic urban fantasy, and I like the wizard detective setting, and I like that it's very magic focused, like there's potions and, you know, magical artifacts and things like that, which I think are pretty cleverly woven in and I like the dialogue and everything so I'm really liking this it's very entertaining and a fast read so I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow read 50 pages and I only have 50 pages left so very exciting stuff but now I need to go to bed happy Tuesday everyone just wanted to say it's Tuesday Matilda's here working hard I also uh, took a bit of a lunch break today and built some paths via custom designer tool but again my town lots of work needs to be done so please this is all you're gonna see but uh i gotta get back to work now all right world tuesday's done i'm about to take a nice break with some cheetos i'm gonna watch too hot to touch which is actually great love it so far so addicting big fan and then Clay should hopefully be done with work soon. And then we're going to watch Naruto. I'm going to make grilled cheese for dinner. Going to finish my book. It's going to basically lay low. That's my plan. Just like every day. <laughs> Something really special every day at 7 is that obviously everyone cheers for the health workers. Including us. It's time to start dinner. I've been defrosting these soups 
which I bought from Goodstock, which is my favorite soup company. Just trying to support some local businesses and they used to deliver them right to your doors when I make tomato soup and grilled cheese because it's a comfort food and delicious. Classic rewatch of a classic show. How long have you two been And grilled cheese, tomato soup. Ugh, love it all. Love it, love it, love it. I could eat grilled cheese and tomato soup probably every day. Except Matilda, but uh, been watching a lot of Naruto, but now I'm going to go and do my reading for the evening. I'm gonna finish my book and Clay's gonna play his Call of Duty. And uh, hope maybe we'll finish this Gara fight tomorrow. It's kind of, this, I'll say this, the Hokage fight, lit. But then there's this awkward period where they can't end the Hokage fight while Gara and others are fighting. So they have to keep cutting back and forth. Anyway, it's still great, incredible stuff though. Hi friends, so as I said, we've been watching a lot of Naruto, but I'm now, oh, it's just so cute. I'm now going to read. So I feel like I'm going to chat through my reading plans really fast because I don't really know if I've done that. So I have 40 ebook pages left of Stormfront by Jim Butcher. This should be hopefully a very quick read. I'm at the Crescendro, Cassent Crescendro. I cannot say that word. The peak, I'm at the, I'm at, height of the plot triangle. I'm soon going to be descending into the resolution <laughs> of book one. Um, so I hopefully will be able to read this quickly. The next book I'm actually going to pick up is a book I'm in the middle of and that is Kingdom of Gods by N.K. Jemisin. This is book three to the Inheritance Trilogy. I started this about a week and a half ago and I haven't finished it. I put it aside to read Readathon novels. It is good. I'm liking it and I really enjoyed the first 100 pages and I kind of slowed down in the middle. I'm having like a weird mixed feelings moments with it. I have only 250 ish, 60, 260 left, 260 pages left of like a 500 page novel. So I need to finish it. Um, so that's probably what I'll read next. It's a really interesting novel. It follows the main character and the main perspective in this one is one of the gods that was in, like a secondary main character in the first one. So we're very familiar with them and their nature, if you will. And in this one, they're becoming human. And so they're changing and having a hard time with it because a god's nature is very fixed. So when all of a sudden they become dynamic, it's a lot for them to handle. So it's a very interesting concept and idea. Um, and I think she picked one of the most interesting gods to do it with. Um, that being said, the middle has been a little slow for me, but because I only have 250, 60, 250, 260 pages left, I need to finish it. So uh, that'll be what I will pick up after I finish Stormfront and read over the next couple days. And then I'm gonna read Regency Romance. It's the carrot, the carrot that keeps me going. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna read now. I got a hair oil in from Sephora and I put too much in my hair. My hair feels really soft, but it also feels greasy. I have very dry hair naturally, um, so I, I overdid it. I was like, how much is this supposed to use? <laughs> a bunch? The answer is not a bunch, but it smells good. I got the, uh, oh, I'll show you guys tomorrow, but it has a flower inside. I'm very pumped about it, but anyway, I used too much though. It's a learning lesson over here. <laughs> Hi. I have successfully finished Storefront by Jim Butcher, which is very exciting. Um, uh, oh, I think that means I've actually read 160 pages over these past two nights so far, which I'm really pleased with for two work nights. Um, my reading can be a little sporadic during the work week. I'm actually going to do more reading. I'm going to pick up Kingdom of Gods. I probably only read like 20 or 30 pages of this before I go to bed. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I'm trying to go to bed early. That being said, Stormfront. I think I'd give 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really liked Harry Dresden a lot more this time around. The mystery I wouldn't say was like fully original or very unique, but I do feel like as a main character in an introduction to the series, I'm definitely intrigued. I will probably pick up the second one soon. I would love to listen to the ebook, but I'm not really listening to ebooks right now because I'm not commuting and I find them hard to listen to working from home because Clay and I don't have the same work schedules so I always feel like we're on opposite 
times for calls, you know, so we, meaning I just can't have things like playing in the background. I guess I could listen to headphones. I'm just making excuses. Point is, I am very intrigued though by the prospect of the audiobook, so I might pick that up and see. But for now, I'm going to pick up Kingdom of Gods and get to reading this because I do really want to finish this uh, before I pick up another book. I just want to say, hey, finish my book. Woo. Good morning, everyone. I am up. It is a sunny day, deceptively sunny because it's actually really cold. I had no idea what to wear. I also just quickly got dressed. So I went with this jumpsuit, long sleeve shirt number. It's chilly, so I don't know. I'm about to make a pot of coffee for Clay and I, um, but just wanted to say hi. It's Wednesday, and I read 40 pages of Kingdom of Gods last night, so making great progress. I've read 200 pages, 100 pages each day, which is I'm very pleased with. I changed. I didn't feel like wearing the equivalent of what felt like jeans, so I put a dress on even though it's 40 degrees outside. Hey, also my hair is so greasy. <laughs> Starting lunch today, I decided I really wanted to ha eat some potatoes. This is gonna be really unhealthy because I wanted a baked potato, but we didn't have potatoes for baking. So I'm gonna make smashed potatoes with these, with Parmesan and garlic <laughs> and butter. Um, so it's gonna be delicious, but very unhealthy. Can't wait though. I think I overdid the portion size here. <laughs> potatoes, looks, and then they get smashed out. So lunch today and tomorrow anyone but yeah i just put a combination of parmesan butter salt pepper garlic and i'm gonna and i smash them with the cans i'm gonna put these in the oven i think i'm gonna cook them at 400 for 10 minutes and then i'll do a broil for five to get them crispy but yeah these look very unhealthy and very delicious and here they are this one got a little toasty but everyone else looks pretty dang good so Time to serve these bad boys up. And my work day is over and I'm in pajamas. I was proud of myself. I was fully dressed today. I even put makeup on because I filmed a video, but now I'm in full on sweats and slippers. Um, I'm actually starving, so I think I'm gonna make dinner here right now. Clay requested spam, which man after my own heart. So I'm gonna make that and rice. I think I'll make him a fried egg on top. I don't know if I want an egg on mine yet. I think I just want like classic spam and rice, but undecided. I might do an egg. I don't know though. Um, anyway, Clay also made a pot of coffee, so I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and unwind for a second. I might, I think I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing and watch some TV and then I'll start dinner and then I'm gonna do some reading too. Survivor's on tonight, which is obviously very important. Headliner of my Wednesday night is Survivor. And then I'll do more reading. I'm really hopeful I can finish Kingdom of Gods, Kingdom of Gods before the weekend, but I have to stay focused because I feel like it's a book that I let myself read really slowly. So I'm trying to finish it is basically what I'm trying to say. But hey, welcome to Wednesday evening. Time to play some Animal Crossing. It's on a call, so I'm gonna talk quietly, but I lost track of time and played over an hour of Animal Crossing instead of doing any reading. Who's surprised? And I've started the cooking process of the Spam, and the rice is ready, which means I just am making little tiny rice balls and eating them. It's a really delicious and bad habit. Bone appetit. I made mine without an egg this time. Clay's has an egg, though. I'm sure he'll put his spicy stuff on it, but he's wrapping up his call now, but I'm about to go chow down. All right, so I just finished Survivor episode and it crushed me. I'm so disappointed. But I also respect that episode a lot, but it still hurts my heart. If you watch the show, you know. I still have a lot of, I have a few faves left. I've got three players. I mean, there's really only one player left that I don't like that I wouldn't want to win. And there's a good three players I'd be very satisfied with winning. Um, but, uh, it hurt who went home tonight. I was very upset about it. Ugh, almost as bad as you will vote. Anyway, okay, well, I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm now going to start reading for the evening. I've just been enjoying my night, relaxing. Wednesdays are all about Survivor in this household, at least for me. Um, but yeah, oh my god, killed me. All right guys, so I just showered. My nose is like really dry. I have like a dry patch on the tip of my nose. Anyone else? Okay, 
anyway tangent um i am sitting down to read i'm really trying to get a chunk of kingdom of gods read tonight i have 216 pages left i think exactly oh hi millie do you need something watch what she does when she wants to go underneath the covers what are you gonna do it are you just gonna stare at me oh there it is mm -hmm. all right so i have 216 pages left of this book it had another time jump so i'm on the third part of it and i'm actually really looking forward to this part because it's kind of bringing back characters that were in the first part of this novel where i flew through that kind of slowed down for me in the middle and that kind of slogged through that so i'm excited to be back with some of these favorite characters that i've already encountered uh, i'm curious about this so I'm going to keep reading. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm obviously trying to not be spoilery. Um, and I also just need to like compose my thoughts about this a bit. But I feel like once I get farther, I'll be able to. Hi everyone. So I just wanted to pop in with a reading update. I've read 60 pages. I'm actually making really good progress. So I would definitely say moving into this third part. I like changed the camera setting and I don't know how to fix it on my camera. The lighting keeps changing there we go hey anyway so i i'm on the third part of this book and i am liking it a lot i'm reading through it really quickly i would say it's definitely picking up um some characters are reintroduced that i really like and i feel like it's helping the narrative style overall i was reading some reviews on goodreads too and i've read i read one in particular that i felt like really spoke to how i'm feeling about this book is that overall i'm enjoying this novel as a concluding novel to this trilogy because i do feel like i understand what nk jemison's trying to do but i also think it might be my least favorite within the trilogy as well it's interesting because what she's doing in this trilogy like the first one is all about ascending to godhood the middle one this the the second one is kind of this like middle ground godling more exploring the relationships between humans and gods in that in-between state and this last one is so much more about humanity and like descending from godhood and god's kind of gaining more of a human perspective um and also like a lot of time has passed through all these books so you kind of get to see this complicated relationship between gods this ruling family the amari and then the rest of the world which is so fascinating but weirdly this book is like either really well paced or really slow paced and it's starting to pick back up again especially because there's this central relationship in the store between Sia who's the god and then two siblings who have a very complex and tragic and destructive relationship both with Sia themselves and like the world but you really root for all of them um so yeah, anyway, I'm making really good progress on this book. I've read 60 pages just now. I'm going to keep on reading. My hope is to actually try to finish it tonight so I can start another book tomorrow. Um, and that'll also just keep me at a good level of reading for the week so far. So just wanted to check in, give you some thoughts, and also let you know I'm going to keep reading. So that's the plan. I will check in when I read more. Also, I fixed the focus issue on my camera. I actually, this is me. It, I had face auto focus off. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm looking at an invisible box that you can't see, but I fixed it. Technology, man. First, Millie had an update for everyone. The update is best nap she's had all week. Just wanted to share. <laughs> so my fantastic progress continues. I have read another 60 pages guys definitely in the end game of this book things are definitely kind of like colliding and culminating in ways i wasn't expecting i mean nk jemison's writing is absolutely beautiful even if i had a harder time in the middle of this book i knew she was gonna save it with the ending slash the characters and the plot i definitely still think this will be my least favorite i'll probably give it like a three and a half or four stars depending on how everything comes together but overall, as like a series, I just find this to be like such a strong like trilogy of novels. I love the shifting of time and perspective throughout all this, but everything feels very connected and you run into characters again and again and again. So it's it's like yes, the POV changes, the primary POV, but all the characters are still very much a part of the narrative story. And everyone's kind of connected to this like larger thing at play 
the universe if you will um and it's just so satisfying uh but yeah i'm just freezing through the end of this now a lot of emotions at play <laughs> and uh millie's asleep but i just wanted to check in and let you guys know that i have about 80 pages of this book left so doing big things over here <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a cold and dreary day outside. It's like 40 degrees and raining. It feels like winter, so I honestly couldn't be bothered to wear anything but a cute bright sweater and leggings and my slippers all day today. Um, I stayed away too late last night reading, and I only have about 40 pages of my book left, which I'm gonna try to read at lunch, which is really exciting. And I'll do a bit of review and thoughts later today about that book, but it means, let me flip you around, start another book today. And I really want to start Edenbrook, which is a Regency romance, which I have on my nook. So I think I'm gonna read that. And also, sidebar, I used less of my hair oil last night. And guys, it did wonders. My hair is so soft. It's not usually soft. I usually straighten it, and I didn't straighten it. It's like soft. My frizzy bits are soft. So, yay, I successfully learned not to use way too much hair oil. Um, but I'm gonna pour myself a cup of coffee. I do have a lot of morning meetings, so I have to do those. But I will check in, as I said in a bit, and talk about Kingdom of Gods. And it's Thursday, everyone. <laughs> All right, so I'm making lunch. I'm really trying to use up the rest of these potatoes before they go bad, so I am boiling and then I'm gonna roast potatoes just with some olive oil salt and pepper and then I'm going to heat up some chili and have kind of like a baked potato chili moment but mostly chili with just a little potato just to make it a little more filling it should be really tasty I have a really good vegan chili to heat up so I'm excited about that I'm adding cheese so it won't be vegan upon consumption but it'll be vegetarian and here is lunch it's absolutely massive um, I could have probably cooked half the amount of chili I did, but that's all right. This should be very, very good. So, bon appetit. Just uh, finished up a meeting. I have meetings all day today, but I just wanted to show you this, you know, pile of blankets. <laughs> Tilda is working hard today. Really trying to put in that performance end of quarter reporting is due get to work <laughs> hi everyone so i just wrapped up work it was a bit of a day but in between everything that happened today which i don't even want to rehash i was able to actually finish my book the kingdom of gods the inheritance trilogy i had 40 pages left and i think that means i read ooh, uh, i think i had 256 pages of this book left when I picked it up a few days ago so I was able to complete it. I think my thoughts are the same as I was kind of describing last night. This is a trilogy that I really respect and overall really enjoyed. I think the third book was my least favorite, perhaps a little too long and the narrator was maybe my least favorite, but I still really enjoyed the themes and I really respect what N.K. Jemisin was trying to do within this trilogy and obviously I'm a huge fan of her so I can't really give it too many negatives but it was a bit slower in the middle and I think that's kind of what impacted my reading experience it kind of dragged on a bit um that being said the end did pick up and i did kind of fly through i mean i read it mostly last night uh the rest of this book so i was able to read a good chunk of it last night which i'm really pleased about that being said tonight we're picking up more regency romance which i am thrilled about um I don't really have any huge plans tonight. Namely, I really want to have a glass of wine <laughs> after my work day today. I'm watching the newest challenge episode with Emily at 9 p.m. tonight, and I need to make dinner and stuff, but I downloaded Edenbrook by Julianne Donaldson, I think, on my e-reader. I actually don't know what this is about. I'm assuming it just, you know, I'm sure there's a duke or an earl or a count or something, and a girl and they fall in love. So I'm really excited to read this and I hope I just fly through it. I also hope to watch some Naruto tonight with Clay. I have been staying up way too late both because I've been reading and watching Naruto. It's a dangerous combination, but I'm done with work for the evening. I might make a latte because that sounds really good. And then I'm going to start making dinner. So far this work week, I've read 256 plus 164. 
for over 400 pages which i'm really pleased with because generally speaking the work week i don't read nearly as much as i do on the weekend so i'm really pleased with that i'm happy my work day's over it was stressful tomorrow's gonna be another long day but you know i'll deal with that tomorrow and then at least it's the weekend tomorrow is friday um, but yeah, so I am going to do a bit of reading now of Edenbrook, make a latte, and then I'm going to start dinner. Our HelloFresh came in today, so we have so many delicious options to choose from, which I'm pretty jazzed about. But yeah, I'm going to make some coffee now. Latte in the making. I honestly haven't had a latte in weeks. I've just been drinking uh, ground potted coffee, which is delicious, but I'm really excited to have this. And I think we've decided what we're going to make for dinner. I'm really excited about the recipes this week, but we've decided on Middle Eastern steak rice pilaf. It's been a minute since I've had like Middle Eastern flavors, so this just sounded so good, and I am pumped about it. So we're gonna make this tonight, it has good veg in it, it's gonna be really tasty. So I'm gonna drink this coffee and read for a little bit and then I will start dinner. Be consumed, I'm now going to make dinner. I'm gonna prompt you guys right here so you can uh, see me do the chopping and such. Hey. Veg are chopped, mixed with olive oil, smoked paprika, salt, pepper. I'm gonna throw this in the oven and now I'm gonna get the rice on. I'm actually really excited for this dinner. Now cooking the steak, rice is simmering away. I made a homemade tzatziki sauce, uh, some leftover cucumber, lemon. This is gonna be so good. And a bon appetit. Not for you, Millie. Looks super tasty. Glass of wine. It is time to watch the challenge, Total Madness. I'm living for Johnny Bananas and West this season. Also, there are some good additions, um, Casey and Fessy from Big Brother, and also Jay from Survivor. I hate Swaggy and Bailey so much. I hated them in Big Brother, but I guess they're entertaining in this show. Last episode was crazy. I'm still really sad about it, but I'm pumped for tonight's episode. All right, world, the challenge is over, so that means I am now gonna sit down and start my book, Eden, Brooke. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm hoping this is like entertaining immediately. When I was reading Tessa Dare's books, I swear I read like 10 pages and then I didn't wanna put the whole thing down until I finished. So I'm really hoping that is the case here. I just really wanna be like swept away and enveloped with sweet, sweet tales of <laughs> Regency romance. Um, I would say, positive thing that has come out of this whole thing, my discovery of my love of Regency romance, which I kind of already knew because I would read it every once in a while, but I don't know if I would have ever ventured down, like, the true romance path, um, in, like, adult romance section, if not for all this time at home. And I'm really grateful I did because it's great. It's great. Don't let the covers fool you, all right? If you if you are a judge a book by the cover kind of person like me, I wouldn't pick them up because I was like, oh, I don't know if that's for me. Tessa Dare's books, incredible stuff. So much fun. So much rom-com. So much humor. I'm such a fan. Anyway, so I'm going to pick this up. It's set in Bath, England, 1816. And the first line said, it was an oak tree that distracted me. <laughs> Gotta love oak trees. All right, first reading update for this book. I didn't read the synopsis going in, but from what I can discern so far, our main character is um, currently living with her grandmother in Bath. Her mother passed away 14 months ago, and when this happened, her sister, her twin sister, fraternal twin sister, moved to London, and her father left for France to, like, mourn, um, and he hasn't really been communicating with them, so she feels separated from her family. Also, there's an element of being really close with her sister, but her sister is a lot more extroverted and beautiful, and always has kind of been this light that she has been fine with just kind of like 
not being in the spotlight. She just wants to live in the country, ride her horse, do those things versus her sister wants to be in town. Start of this book is her sister writes to her and is like, yo, I'm trying to marry this rich guy because she's ambitious <laughs> in a nicer way. <laughs> she's, she's, not a, she's not a villain. <laughs> she's like, yo, trying to marry this cute rich guy. He, her, his sister invited us to go to this estate. Do you want to come? And she's like, yeah, I hate Bath. Let's do it. So she's going to this estate called Edenbrook. And what I'm unsure yet is if she's going to actually fall in love with that guy because her sister wants to marry him, but I don't really think they're like close or anything. She just has like has her sights set on her. And I have a feeling that he's going to fall in love with the wrong sister. Could be wrong. I'm just speculating here. There's also some other elements of um, um, inheritance and other things. So, and so far there's already been a highwayman, 23 pages in, highwayman here in the carriage. So lots of drama already. <laughs> and I'm excited to see how this unfurls. I like the main character so far too. She's definitely witty and I like her comebacks. This also feels like a more classic Regency romance, like the time and place, even the dialogue slash the like feeling of it feels very like I can kind of feel the the Regency romance era like very well. So I'm gonna jump back in. Just wanted to give you guys a little premise, a little idea of what's going on. And uh, I'm gonna do more reading now. Guys, I'm flying through this book. I'm like 35% of the way done. I'm definitely gonna get to the 50% mark tonight and stay up way too late, but I was right. So there's definitely gonna be romance between this sister. Thing is though, neither of their fault. They also met after this coach scenario and she hates him, but also loves him. Well, not yet, but will love him. There's a beautiful estate. There's gonna be so much drama. There's so much banter. I love it. I'm here for it. It also, it's just like so soft and sweet too. Like this feels like a very wholesome story. And I love it. So I'm gonna keep reading. Just wanted to check in though. This is so soft, like feathers. What does that even mean? Anyway, gotta keep reading. This book is so sweet. I could die so sweet good morning everyone excuse that noise in the background i'm defrosting some soup but it's currently friday the last day of the vlog and man oh man has this morning been so busy i've been in back-to-back -back meetings all morning it's been a bit of a day but i've kind of worked through everything i needed to do i have work to do in more meetings today but like a lot of my urgent requests so that is a bit of a relief quickly show you what I'm wearing today. It is another very cold and gloomy day in New York City, so I'm wearing a sweater, some loose jeans from Anthropology. I don't even know if you could really count them as jeans. They're more like a potato sack. And uh, yeah, I haven't straightened my hair all week, which I'm really happy about. And this, the hair oil, I applied it properly this time. And honestly, it's a huge game changer. My hair is so soft. Um, but yeah, I am working on lunch now and I'll do a reading update in a minute, but right now I'm going to focus on making lunch because I am hungry. Soup is in the making and I think for a midday treat, I'm going to make Clay and I some smoothies because we have some pineapple juice that needs to be consumed. So that should be tasty. There's honestly, I love more than carrot ginger soup and a crap ton of croutons on top. It's just so key it's so good smoothies are happening pineapple juice is key everyone the best smoothie hi everyone so it's the end of the day on friday this is the part of the vlog where i end this vlog and begin another vlog back to back vlogging in this household but i wanted to quickly wrap up everything i was able to read this week Given how busy this week was, I definitely had a kind of a hectic work week. I was still able to actually get quite a bit of reading in, and I think that had a lot to do with my nook. I feel like I read more on my nook. Um, and it also might be what I read on my nook, which is romance and things like that. So that could be why that's the case. But that being said, let's quickly chat through everything I was able to read. So first and foremost, I've completed or finished the first novel in the Dresden Files, Stormfred. I read the last 164 pages of this. Talked about it a lot, liked it quite a bit. 
From there, I finished The Kingdom of Gods by A.K. Jemisin, which was the last 256 pages, I want to say. Um, this one took me a little longer to read, just in general, and overall I did really enjoy it, but it's kind of one of those books I was excited to finish, if that makes sense. Uh, and then last night, I started Edenbrook, which I absolutely flew through. I stayed up way too late last night. It's exactly what I wanted. I would really characterize it as like a soft romance. The Tessa Dare books are definitely very rom-com and much steamier. This is softer in that it's a lot sweeter. It's not very like steamy in that way, at least I haven't encountered so far. And even the humor is more in line with what I would imagine the banter would be like in this time period. So it feels very like enveloping and transportive and more accurate to the time period um and i'm really liking it i find the character super pleasant i've read the 100 pages of the ebook of 232 pages of the ebook i should look up how long this actual paperback is i don't think it's very long yeah according to goodreads the paperback is like just shy of 300 pages so i've read about over 100 pages of it obviously <laughs> i've read about 45 percent of the book 40 percent um, so I'm really pleased. I'm really excited to finish it. I hope to finish it tonight, Friday night, and then jump into another book. I have read so much this month. Like, I cannot even articulate it. I'm on my ninth book right now, which is just wild. It's like I'm back in my college days when I used to read, like, nine or ten books a month, but now it's not been like that. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this work week vlog. I hope it was relatively entertaining. It's harder to track during a work week because there's more days and I'm only like vlogging during a small portion of my evening. So I hope you enjoyed. But regardless, I will see you soon with another video soon. Goodbye.